It is 6.52. A threat at a Miami County school has police taking extra steps to make sure students are safe this morning. Brooke Moore is live in Tip City with this morning's top story. Brooke? Classes here at Tippecanoe New High School start around 740 this morning, but already officials are out here just in front of the school. Now, right now they have cones set up here where cars are normally going into this entrance. Take a listen, though, to this message that parents received yesterday from the school superintendent, John Cronauer. Today at the high school in the boys' bathroom or one of the boys' bathrooms, a cryptic note was found that stated school Columbine number two, two, 14, 13. Good luck. The message references the Columbine High School shooting massacre, which happened in Colorado in 1999. Twelve students and a teacher were killed. Twenty-four others were injured. Tip City police now say they are taking this threat very seriously. So while they work to find whoever is behind it, they're also taking steps to make sure everyone at school is safe. Superintendent Cronauer didn't want to go on camera, but he says school will go on as normal, just with extra security. We talked to some parents and students last night. Alex Stearns, who is a senior here at Tippecanoe, says he feels the school district may be taking the threat too lightly. I think that they could probably take it a little more seriously because I mean the threat that it was just there on the stall. Um, I'm not sure if it's just some kids joking around about it or if it's you know some like a real threat but um, I think that they should do more about it. Some parents we talked to felt the same way. They said they believe school should be canceled today, and some of them are going to be keeping their kids at home instead of in class this morning. Police didn't want to give us specifics on their plan uh, throughout the day, but they are going to be out here outside the school. We're also told they're going to be talking to us a little bit later, so hopefully we'll have some new information on this threat or their plan throughout the day, and we will keep you updated on air and online at WDTN.com. Reporting live, I'm Brooke Moore, 2 News Today.